guys, welcome back to my channel. And if you're new, hi, I'm Brown from the Beauty. And in today's video, I'm really excited. I love doing videos like this because I get excited, I get to try new things. So obviously in this video, I'll be trying new stuff. And today I'm going to try these ColourPop lipsticks. Well, I've got 12, I got a bit crazy when I went buying ColourPop stuff. But so from ColourPop, I bought these lipsticks. These are six of the lipsticks out of 12 lip lipsticks I bought. So four of them are blotted lipsticks and two of them are set in lipsticks. So I'm gonna try these six today and I'm gonna try the other six with that, which are the matte colors later. Or maybe I'll do two part videos. I'll see how it goes, how tired I am or hungry I am. So yeah, I'm gonna try these today. So it's really nice to see what they look like on brown skin. So if you're anywhere closer to my skin, or maybe light, a little bit lighter or a little darker. Um, you can imagine what they will look on you. So yeah, I'll be the experimental person <laughs> to try these on. So let me open them from their little boxes. I love ColourPop packaging. They're really, really sleek, really nice. But yeah, this is what they look like outside. So let me just open them. All right, so here are the colors. So how I chose them was by obviously looking at the photo and if I saw them looking a bit more warmer tone I love a good warm tone sort of lips so yeah I got them so yeah without any further ado let's get started and let me put these on all right so the first color I'm going to use is called doozy this is your blotted lip and it looks like this and I have to say the pictures on the website are slightly different if not very different to the actual product products that i thought were more warmer undertone they're actually cool part that i thought they were dark they're actually lighter in real life and products that i thought were light are actually darker so yeah so this is what it looks like and I put it on this is the first color looks like this to me, blotted basically means shiny lipstick and then you blot it with a, like a facial tissue or a paper towel or whatever and then you blot it and it just leaves that stain. That's what I feel like blotted lip means. Yeah, I love this color. It looks very different in the packaging here, but on lips, it's, I don't know, I feel like it's slightly more darker or a bit more more browner and then here it looks more pinkier but regardless it looks beautiful i love that bloody color it's so good all right the next color i'm going to use is called soda pop it's very close to doozy but a bit more pinkier that one's a bit more browner and this one again is a blotted lip and this is what it looks like i'm so scared because removing these are pain in the ass and I feel like it's gonna dry my lips so bad. So with this one, I slightly overlined my lips and it looks like this. So this color I feel like is very true to what's inside the packaging. And yeah, it's really, really pretty. Definitely more formal sort of lipstick. I wanna see if it looks patchy because from here I can't tell. No, it's definitely not patchy at all and not sticky and dries really really quick so it gives you enough time to really spread the product and once it's spread it just dries really quickly and there's no transfer maybe a little bit but it's not crazy and it feels really comfortable it's slightly drying obviously because it's more matte finish and it's liquid lipstick they tend to do that but it's not uncomfortable for me you can tell there's something but yet there's nothing but once you get used to the feeling it'll go away yeah this is what it looks like the next one i've got is this one right here and this one's a bit more cooler undertone than I remember seeing it online. It's a very nude color with hint of pink. And you can see it's stained. Ugh. Let's try to cover it, eh? Interesting. I thought this nude will be quite, like, cool tone and it won't suit me. 
It's really interesting. The more I put it on, I feel like it looks a bit more warmer than what I thought it would be in here. Interesting. It looks quite warm. And it's actually quite pretty too. So this is what this one looks like. This one is called Zuma. I don't know if I said the name, but yeah, this is what it looks like. My lips are getting wrinkly and dry because <laughs> they're so hard to remove. They're so long lasting that you have to really rub them off, which is a good thing in a way if you're not changing lipstick every two seconds. But yeah, my lips look really dry. I, when I saw this, I was like, oh, I don't know if I would like this, but now I feel like this might become one of my favorites. It was one of the best sellers on their website, so I see why. Because it looks quite cool in the tube, but in real life, on your lips, it looks quite warm and quite nice. And I can imagine this color looking really nice on any sort of skin color, whether you're lighter, medium, or darker. But yeah, it's quite nice. Alright, this is the last one of those blotted lip. This one is called Sleepy Eyes. It looks like this. It's quite nice and deep, sort of browny orange. This one, one of, one of the ones that I was really excited to get. It looks slightly different. It looks more orangey in picture uh, or online, but in real life it looks more brownie or orange. So let's try this and see. And my poor lips, I'm so sorry. Let's be gentle, yeah? This is what sleepy eyes looks like and yeah it's very brown with a hint of undertone of orange my poor lips they're so dry at the moment but yeah the packaging for sleepy eyes is pretty much true to what it looks like on my lips it's very very brown with orange tones it's not orange like I thought it was online but yeah this is what it looks like it's really really pretty all of the colors so far that I've tried, they look really, really nice on brown skin, or at least on my skin, uh, with a nice neutral makeup. And I'm sure if you have different eye look or different makeup as well, it will still look nice. All right, on to the last two from my this lot, which is the two satin ones. So let me remove this lipstick. All right, so for satin one, uh, I've got this color right here. It looks very, very nude, sort of pink. This was another one that I was like, ooh, I don't know if it'll look nice on me, which is called Echo Park. So let's see how this one looks on my skin tone and my lips. My lips are dying slowly. I feel so bad for my lips, but you gotta do what you gotta do. Let's go ahead. So this one looks like this. It's definitely more pinkier undertone with nude. This one was sim in the same boat as Zuma because I thought Zuma would look very pale on me um, but it looked quite nice and warm. This one is still, it's definitely a bit more warmer than what it looks in the tube but it's still with a little bit of cool undertone. It's getting darker on my lips. I, I suppose when it dries it gets a bit darker so it still looks good but definitely um, one of the ones that I will think about before I wear this depending on my makeup depending on what sort of foundation base I've got on if it's very very thick and heavy obviously like something like this I would wear it if it's more very lightweight and sort of daytime or more like natural I wouldn't because it will just wash out my face but it's still really pretty I mean, it's, it did better than what I thought it would because I was like, it won't look good on me. But I quite like it. I quite like it. It looks quite nice. It looks a lot more peachier, pinky on my lips than it looks on the tube. So, which is a good thing because it's a good thing and a bad thing because I bought it because it looked quite different online and then it looked different in the tube and then putting it on my lips, it looks different. So, you wouldn't know if it will suit you until you actually try it on your lips and that's a risky thing to do because you're spending money obviously you can't use it and return it because it doesn't suit you all right lucky last i was like should i do all 12 because it will take a bit longer but at least i'll do all 12. i'm so glad i did six and six because my lips are dying 
Oh, my lips are so happy right now. So we're on to our last one, which is a freaking frack. It looks like this. It's a bit more red brown. I thought it looked really close to Sleepy Eyes, which is this one. But when you compare two of them, they this one's actually a bit more reddish brown and this is more like an orangey sort of brown which is really weird because when you look at them they look very similar if you if i showed you this one and then i showed you this one okay look they kind of look different but i thought they looked very similar at that time okay so this is called freaking frag this is very brown sort of color with reddish tones oh i thought it was reddish it's more pinky Last one looks like this, and again, it looks very different. This one looks different in the tube and on my lips. On my lips, it looks really almost burgundy brown, whereas in the tube, it looks more like I don't know. I, I feel like it's red brown, but when I first put it on, it looked pink brown. So regardless, it looks like this. Yeah, these are all the six colors from the first lot that I got from Colourpop and yeah, uh, so far I loved all the colors maybe only liked one color and loved the rest of them which was the, the nude, which is Echo Park I mean, I still liked it, but I don't know if I love it but I like it, it's not like I don't like it so yeah, pretty much all the colors that I tried on looked really good so if you do have a skin tone similar to me, darker than me, or maybe slightly lighter than me all these colors will suit you, but so far I feel like all these colors will definitely suit pretty much any skin tone person which is pretty awesome the only certain things was that the photos online and the product color and reality looked very different so that can be a little risky because you might like something online and you're like oh yeah that's my color but in real life it's slightly different all right so my final thoughts about these lipsticks uh i really like the blotting ones and the setting ones i've used setting ones before i've never used the blotting ones before so i was really impressed with the blotting one they feel really lightweight they dry really quickly they last longer like they don't move or they don't come off um, the only thing is they do feel slightly dry so if your lips are anything like mine and they get dry really easily so they'll be a bit drying on your lips if you do want to protect your lips from drying just put a lip balm or Vaseline or any sort of lip gloss underneath um, and then put that uh, blotting one on or any any satin or matte lipsticks as well it's a little trick that I do to not make my lips dry I don't do it now because obviously I wanted to see exactly what they look like and how they feel in their original form uh, satin ones I've used them before I really like them they look a little wet but they're still long lasting they are really sturdy they are really long lasting and they they're a little sticky but they're not too bad I mean I don't mind uh, putting them on and they're very intense so the color is quite intense on your lips and one thing I've noticed with Colourpop mostly matte um, when they do dry they get a little darker even with the blotting ones when they do dry they get a little darker some didn't some did so that's something that you can keep in mind that it might happen if that's the type of um, color it is um, yeah other than that uh, I quite liked all the colors and I liked all the types in the next video I'll be trying my matte lipsticks so yeah stay tuned for that but yeah this is the video hope you guys enjoyed this video I had a lot of fun not my lips though my lips are just hating me right now but I had a lot of fun um, I love doing videos like this because it helps people who are my skin tone or my similar color to understand if something will look good on them because this is what I used to do if I would like a color of my own let me just see how it looks on someone like me uh, or my sort of skin tone and it was very hard <laughs> to find someone like me so hopefully there are a lot of people who are same color as me or you know slightly lighter or darker doesn't really make a huge difference so yeah so I love doing videos like this Hope you guys enjoyed this video, maybe you found it helpful, hopefully you liked some colors that you can invest in and maybe you want to try it on. So yeah, all the details of the makeup that I've done and all the colors that I've used and Colourpop website, I'll put the details down below. 
uh, yeah, so hope you guys enjoyed this video. Uh, if you did like it, then give it a thumbs up. Uh, comment down below uh, if you want to say anything to me or just say hello. Subscribe to my channel if you haven't already so you can see more videos like this in the near future. And follow me on my Snapchat, Facebook, and Instagram, which is Brown Printer Beauty. And until next time, hope you guys have a beautiful day and be happy and positive. I'll see you guys later. Bye.